Hey, it's me, Nalfazar, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest video. In today's video, I'm going to be spoiling the second of my three cards from the upcoming Outlaws of Thunder Junction set. So, let's get into it. for how this card is going to play, and the brand new mechanic that is going to be entering the game called Spree. So, in order to understand this card, Caught in the Crossfire, we need to understand what the new mechanic Spree does, and how it works. So, to give you a basic rundown of Spree, when the game starts, if a player has a card with, with Spree in their deck, then the player who has a card with Spree in their deck will have an emblem next to their Planeswalker's avatar. That emblem will be very similar to what you see for some Planeswalker's passives. It'll be similar to what you see for Planeswalker's who can gain experience, things like that. It's going to be an icon that you can tap on to see what it does. Now, Spree itself is going to make it so that whenever you match gems in a turn, your Spree counter will go up by one. And then when you cast a card with Spree, it will gain enhanced effects based on that Spree counter. So let's say that you make your singular gem swap in a turn. Then you will have Spree one for that turn because the Spree counter will reset at the end of your opponent's next turn, meaning that it will fluctuate throughout the game based on what you put into your deck. That means that to get the most out of Spree, you're either going to want gem conversion or you're going to want bonus swaps in your deck because you're going to want to make as many matches as you can so that you can enable higher levels of Spree. Now, on to Caught in the Crossfire. Caught in the Crossfire is going to be a 16 mana mythic spell. It has Spree, that's going to be the triple bullet mark pew, 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 in the lower left corner of the art. And it reads, Spree 1, outlaw creatures you control get plus X plus zero. That's going to be a permanent power boost. Outlaw is going to be a creature subtype that is going to be in the upcoming set. Not really a subtype, it's just going to be a group of creatures. I think that's a better way of putting it. Those creatures are going to be assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks. So we don't have a ton of cards that are in that aforementioned list that I think are super powerful in standard coming into the new set, but I am hopeful that we'll see a bunch of really cool cards that are assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and or warlocks coming into the set that will pair very well with Caught in the Crossfire. Spree 2, meaning that you've matched two gems in the turn, deal X damage to each creature without the outlaw subtype. So... Our first part of this is going to buff our outlaws. The second part of this is going to be to effectively get rid of non-outlaw creatures. And then the third part of this, Spree 3, is going to deal X damage to your opponent's Planeswalker and destroy X non-red gems. X is going to be the number of red gems you have matched this turn. So this just further goes with the whole theme of Spree and with this card in general. So. If you are running red conversion in your deck, then this is going to build up that Spree 3, and then you're going to be hitting really, really hard with that effect. If you are going to be using multiple copies of Caught in the Crossfire in a single turn, then that will be very powerful. If you're running this with, say, Pyromancer's Goggles, which is going to make it so that activated gems can pop and give you spells, this thing's going to destroy gems. You might wind up getting a whole bunch of them going in a turn. I could very easily see you being able to just outright end games in a single turn with this card. Between the increased power that you're going to be giving to your outlaws before they attack and the damage that you're going to be doing to your opponent's Planeswalker from the Spree 3. I think it'll be pretty easy to get Spree. Cascades also count as matches, so that is going to help you make the Spree happen. And so we should be seeing a bunch of cards with Spree if the paper set is any indication. No, I don't have any knowledge as to whether or not there are actually other Spree cards in the set, but I mean, come on, we're, we're, we're totally going to get more Spree cards in the set. So I think this card looks amazing. Let me know if you guys are excited for this card as I am. I am stoked to see what the upcoming 
assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks are so that we know how we can pair this with our upcoming outlaws because this just looks fun. It just looks fun. And you're going to be able to pair this with our good boy Koff, who is a top tier planeswalker. Definitely would recommend throwing it in there, especially the new Koth, Koth 2, who's going to be destroying red gem, uh, non-red gems to just make it so that you're going to match as many red gems as possible. Throw in that Koth Vanguard and you're going to be cooking. There's going to be a lot of ways to be cooking with this card. No pun intended with that background art. Just saying, you know, th this card will be cooking. It'll be good. So let me know what you think of this card. Let me know of some upcoming outlaws that you're excited for that are going to be coming into the game, assuming you've looked at the paper spoilers and you know some of the cards in the set. But anywho, that's it from me for this one. I've got another video coming out tomorrow spoiling yet another card from the upcoming set. So keep your eyes peeled for my channel and new videos coming up there. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.